Hi guys, I'm Exactcast and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We are still in the beta, ooh, actually it's beta 3.4. Uh, uh, no idea what that means for us, but anyway, we are having still having issues with getting people through security. So I almost think that it is time for us to see about potentially double decking the arrangement over here. But uh, yeah, let's have a look. If we go upstairs, there's nothing upstairs just yet. And we could then immediately drop people down into these areas. We could add some more um, baggage claims actually, which uh, I think is okay. But we'll have to drop people down into this area as well, or we can just get an additional setup and tie them through over there. Um, that could be workable. Okay, I think what we need to do is let's uh, let's start by um, potentially extending our area um, over here. So let's see if we say, for instance, we're going to do something like that uh, up to about there. Mm, that's not bad. Let's do that. And what we'll do is we'll also tie those two together over there. Now uh, that costs us a little bit of money, but it's not the end of the world. Let's see about connecting these up over here. There we go. Nice. So now that is should all be connected. If we go downstairs, it means that we can um, presumably sort out our security in some way, shape or form. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go upstairs and let's see if we go with uh, escalators somewhere over here, drop it down, we could most definitely sort out some some form of um, drop down right over here. So if we do it something like that, it should be yeah pretty straightforward really. So that spot is where we're gonna go. So let's, uh, let's tie these up with like a secure area. The entire area should definitely be a secure area like so and ooh, actually we're going to do security upstairs so we'll start with something like that uh, in the first instance then what we need to do is do a little bit of a, a passport control automated passport control over here and um, the rest will all be downstairs so let's um let's see about where we can actually sort out this so if we do maybe something like that and then we'll start getting our our, uh, our passport control pieces going on over here. So if we do one of those, and then we'll do the automated ones. Okay, we've got a bit of an emergency. So let's um, let's quickly see. Dangerous baggage suspected uh, 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 suspected to have been uploaded or unloaded to flight TA319, and a government security report is likely to follow soon. We seem to have a security breach somewhere in the conveyor belt system. Uh, not what I had in mind, but anyway, that's going to be just fine. I constantly am looking at that, but I don't quite know why that is happening. So let's uh, fill these up all the way through. I think that's going to be just sufficient right over there. Let's um, quickly tie these up um, in terms of flooring. In terms of flooring together, my apologies, something like that should be just fine. Do we uh, set up a queue? We do. I don't think we need a queue. I think that area can be queuing enough um, as, as is. Now, what we need to do is we need people to be able to come upstairs from downstairs. Uh, ooh, and we also need to be able to drop people into this area and now people are seemingly a little bit confused so that looks pretty good uh, not what I had in mind but considering they can now get there it's okay that's fine we'll get them to channel through there as quickly as possible that is okay it's not the end of the world now what we need to do is let's trim back and try and do some kind of fancy arrangement with regards to our security So what did I want to do with our security? I wanted to do large. I was kind of thinking, uh, we could obviously do uh, a straight line like this, or we could do a little bit of a mm, situation like that, maybe. 
Okay, let's um, let's see if we can do something like that. So let's that area up to about there needs to be fine, and then from here, what we'll do is we will um, remove some of this as queuing space, and we will bring in our security pieces. If we do that, one, oh really, one more. One additional line over there. That's kind of, that's fine. That's going to be just fine. We'll uh, tie that in. What I'm going to do is, for the time being, I'm just going to quickly um, uh, close these down. Okay, something like that. It's going to be just fine. Now, um, from a secure perspective, I'm going to leave a little bit of space in the middle over here, and then we're going to. Ooh, actually, we need something like that. Then we need up to here, and then we'll fit them out a little bit of that. So that should work. Now let's um, let's quickly have a look. Oh yeah, that's 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 fine. I think that's just fine. Now the question is, uh, let's let's just lock these for the time being. Just close them down. We don't need all of this to be operating just yet. Now uh, going back in here, let's have a look. Uh, I don't think this is necessarily enough room for queuing. We'll have a look. Um, yeah, I think we need at least another little section sorted out. Let's um, let's start it off from the other side. So let's close uh, trim off this one. Ooh, actually, we can probably come in here a little bit. So let's get our our large security precinct area things in there, like so and so, and then we'll do that that's uh so we're gonna have like a few of these that's that's gonna be all that is gonna be uh, okay let's let's trim that back we're gonna do four like so and then it's about up to there so now, now what we'll do is we'll trim this one out there we go and i believe that should be sufficient in terms of our security our security setup so let's do that there we go that is gonna be just fine okay so that is our security um, access point facility piece so let's just lock these because we don't have any ability for people to come up into this general area let's quickly get some walls in place I wanted to uh, maybe cover that off there cover that off over there um, and then what we'll do is we will do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this so now we've got security all nice and tidy they can get in there pretty easily they can actually go either direction that's going to be just fine let's quickly get ourselves some queuing going on over here i think that's about uh, about the right And up to about there, that should be sufficient in terms of space. We'll do a very similar thing over here. Let's tie it in like so, like so, like so, like so, and do it up to about there. I think that's fine. Uh, we'll do a similar thing. All of these. Ooh. Let's try and put them back. There we go. That's going to be just fine up to about there. There's going to be sufficient room. I believe there's going to be sufficient room for all of this. And we can open a lot of these things as we go. That's fine, and that that's going to be just perfect. So as we can open these as we need an addition, additional demand. I am pretty keen on seeing what the hell is going on with this. So that little piece over there should have been a bit of a challenge. But anyway, they are coming through here um, fairly quickly and efficiently, and I'm hoping that means we are loading all of our planes fairly effectively and on time and we are not making tons of money but uh, it's not too bad let's do this last queue over here and then we'll see about getting people up here to travel through security because i believe downstairs we have queuing problems at from time to time but i believe this should be okay um, just like this i think that's going to be just fine okay now what's going to happen up here is we probably can do a bit of a shop 
and a bit of a, a, a little uh, kind of a restaurant area. So let's get a shop in here. Ooh. Something like, uh, yeah, maybe something like that. 24 by 11. Yeah, that's going to be just fine. And we'll do a bit of a restaurant over here. Mm, the restaurant zone. There we go. So that's pretty good. Now we need the ability for people to get up, up and down. Hmm, now where are we going to get people to be able to do that though? So if they do something like this, yeah, I would have liked to be in the opposite direction though. So let's, um, let's trim some of this stuff out of the way. Not sure they're going to like that specifically. But if we do that, there should be abil the ability to get up there. So if we do that, people should be able to get upstairs here and be able to go through that whole section there. It's going to be a lot of extra room, so we can most certainly get a little bit of... Uh, we do need janitors and all kinds of other staff members. We can certainly do a lot of uh, seating areas over here. If we do a little bit of this, people will be able to come and use the seating areas as they see fit. Okay, something like that. We'll definitely need a little bit of um, bathrooms in here. But anyway, people are immediately seeing some ability over there. So let's um, open up one of these. We'll not let the ooh, we'll not let the staff through there. So we'll do that. Let's grab a few staff members. Uh, we would like, I don't think ramp agents, security officers certainly. Um, all of these are pretty poor. Uh, let's go with janitors. Let's grab a few of the janitors. Let's go back to security officers. We'll hire them as we see them come in. That's not bad. So at least we can now start doing security over here. Well, there is the ability to use that at least. Okay, um, we need a bit of a bathroom. We need to uh, do this uh, franchise area over here. So let's quickly get the franchise area up and running. So if we start off with this, let's do that nice and central over there. I think that's going to be just fine. We'll grab ourselves a little bit of this stuff. should be okay as a starting point. Let's get some of the medium ones going on. Something like that. Now let's get some of the smaller ones going. So if we do a little bit more um, something like that, maybe that's going to be going to be just fine. So I think that should be okay. So now we can actually get the franchise in here. We should be able to get pretty much anything going. We'll get some someone signed up over there. Now let's get the uh, the shopping or this area at least going. Yeah, we're getting people through security over here fairly effectively. And they can go in both directions. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Now, let's uh, let's get the rest of this going. So let's do the large area here. Yeah, and my intention is to do something like this. So we'll get all the one edge going on over there. So let's get um, a couple of these things. Actually, let's do a few fridges like this. I think that should be just fine. Fridges is one of the things that we need to do. Now we need, what else? Do we need some cooking stations and things? So if we do, well, um, let's grab a little bit of this. This is some areas going, and then we'll get some of the cooking stations and so on going. Food counters and uh, food preparing. Got the sink. 
Get a sink going on. We'll get a freezer. We we'll grab ourselves a couple of cooking stations. Uh, one on this side, one on that side. We'll grab this one. One of these. Not sure what else we can put in here. Maybe another fridge over there, another fridge over there. And that's about right now. We can do some other bits and pieces. So let's go um, grab ourselves some uh, tables and stuff. So if we do... Something like that, see how that goes. Let's um, grab some of the seating that we can do. Like so. A little bit of that. And we will uh, finish this one off right over here. And that should be okay, right? Like so. We'll need some garbage bins and all the, all the rest. Not sure what else we need, but let's get La French signed up over here. So that should do the trick over there. So that should be good. Now, we need a bathroom. So let's grab some of these bathrooms over here. I like the nice big ones. So let's see if we can go ahead and copy that. What are we missing? Security officers. Let's grab a couple more security officers. Right over here, that one, that one, that's a couple more there. Let's reject a few, which is pretty poor. Is this a bit of a backlog over here? We should be okay with this, to be honest. Get a few more there. There we go. That should uh, do the trick. Is this still running? No, we need to open something else in there. Let's get another shop going. Should be just fine. We are making a decent amount of money. The income is, is kind of streaming. We are, how are we doing with all of this? Really no concerns whatsoever with these things. We are dealing with all of those. So the only services that's not active is the de-icing. And to be honest, this is Perth, so I don't think we really need the icing in the long run, but might, might um, add that. What, we haven't seen an emergency in ages. I would still like to do our um, our hangers and stuff. So we'll get to we'll get to some of that. These guys are kind of sorting themselves out. Let's um let's get an open another one up right over there. Probably need to get a few more security staff members. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Should be sufficient for now. Wow, lots of security people running through there. Okay, we still need a bathroom. Let's quickly find um, one of uh, one or two of these. Um, how do I copy and paste mode? So let's um, see what other bathroom facilities do we have? We could do well. Let's do a couple of these. Let's do Alt. Is it Alt? Is it Shift? It's Shift. Let's grab Shift. We'll copy those. Yeah, that's that's going to be just fine. We'll go out over here, we will. I'm tempted to do bathrooms in the corner, so we'll do one over there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove one of these and we'll do another bathroom in the corner over here. Let's uh, copy and paste that same um, element. Copy and paste mode all the way like so, shift it, get it done. We'll place that on the other corner. That's going to be just fine. Now, um, female, male, male, open and open. Female, open, male, open. Perfect. We could do another one over here somewhere, but I think that's going to be just fine, all of this is working. Let's get some flooring down. There's so much work happening all the time. Let's get some fancy flooring potentially. So let's get some fancy flooring 
done over there. Ooh, that's pretty dark. And get some fancy flooring on this side, maybe. There we go. What kind of flooring do we have down here? The red, the red kind of zone. So let's get the the standard bit of red stuff going on. We'll try and finalize a fair bit of this. Like so, and like so, and we'll also do a little bit of that. There we go, so the red is in there. Now we just need to get the blue sorted out. Is that the same color or is it like a, oh, it's still red actually. So let's go with red all, all along. The, ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, twice red. Now let's go upstairs to finish off the um, red components here. We'll run it all the way through there and all the way through here. And then what we just need to do is we just need to finish, finalize the bathrooms with some, uh, some of these floorings. Like so and like so. The other bit and piece that we need is maybe a little bit of um, of these vending machines. So let's grab the vending machines if we can. Uh, this one, right over there. There we go. And the last ones right there, vending machines and vending machines. There we go. Now let's get some bins out over here. We'll do one over there, we'll do one over here, we'll do one on this side. We'll do a few um, with these guys and we will do a few bins um, in this general area right over here and that should be fine. Now that should be all sorted out. So now all of this should be working nicely. So now we've got the additional space to get the security going on. So we can now look at expanding this but we will need more um, a remote stand access in order to do that. So I'm kind of tempted to start building the other side. We've got a million. Let's get, a, get go, go ahead and start allocating some of our other large stands. Um, if we do that, right, and if we could we potentially get, oh, we cannot. So let's, um, actually, let's trim, actually, let's delete one of these. Uh, let's delete that. It's going to cost me, ooh, I can't actually delete it. Let's uh, close this one down. Can we delete this? Close it, delete it. Uh, yes. Uh, we've got some money back. We'll close it and delete it. And that's... Not great, obviously, but these will be have to be remote stands. Uh, so we'll do like three of them. We'll get them right on the other side there. I think that's going to be... Hmm, alternatively, we can move this one too, but it's still going to cost even more money. And in this area here, we need to put some hangers and stuff in there. More smaller planes over there will also be good. But yeah, this is a pretty decent setup. Right there, pretty decent setup. Why are these guys just kind of hanging out over here? Who's getting stuck where? You're quick queuing for what exactly? Are you queuing for this? I'm not quite sure. Listen, you working. We've got a few pieces, a few bits and pieces. And um, people stuck um, there and there, and there's obviously some people stuck over here, but all in all working. And I'm quite impressed by the man by the ability for us to, to manage this drop-off area. By this time, typically, we would have had all kinds of nightmares in the drop-off area. It's a little bit of a queue over here, but nothing too major. Um, can we just clear out whatever it is that we are seeing? I'm not sure what it is, but there, there we go. That's fine. The rest is going uh, decent. Going along um, at no real, no real problems. If we go downstairs, what's going on over here? We're seeing a fair bit of traffic through here, but working really well. Nobody re even even queuing over here. Lots of people hanging out in the nice, awesome staff room. 
everything's kind of working really. Queues are pretty limited everywhere for security. So not a big deal. I think we've got a pretty decent um, a pretty decent setup to be honest. Can we get more flights? Let's uh, let's have a look. So this is L2. Um, L2 is out of our way. So that's awesome. So how many flights can we still add here? Uh, there's room for more flights. So let's quickly um, go to the contracts and get uh, more flights coming in. Offered contracts for airlines, please. Uh, and we should have a look at what we can do in terms of um, negotiations. So let's go get Zoom. I've got some large, some mediums. Let's sign that one. Uh, we'll get Crown Air, some large, some mediums. We'll sign that one too. Let's get Atom Air. Um, again, some large and some mediums. We'll get them signed and we'll get Skyfly. Similar story over there. So that should do us um, tie us over for some time now. And let's go back and double check our airline negotiations. Accept the contract. Oh man, look, we can negotiate a fair bit of these things. So if we go Goose Wings, let's ne go ahead and negotiate that. Not too sure. If we up that one a little. Spend a little bit of money there. Can we get it on 83%? Let's see. Uh, accept it. That's brilliant. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, let's start by negotiating the ones that we've got some repertoire with. Let's go with Havana. We'll get that one sorted out. See what the negotiation is all about. They're quite happy as is. Um, so if we say, let's up the fee uh, like there, we get one, we get one built in immediately. Let's send that offer and see if they're accepting it. Ooh, they declined that. That's uh, obviously not good. We renegotiated, but we didn't really get anything um, from that. So let's try another one. Coast to, uh, is it coast to coast? Coast to coast. Let's negotiate that one and say, okay, so we haven't yet negotiated anything here. Let's up a little over there. We'll up a little. Let's do something like this instead. I'm not sure where Coast to Coast has its big airline pieces. Ooh, that's not great. So if we do this, that's definitely sufficient. If we do that and we do this, shall we see? Accept it? Oh man, excellent. Um, uh, it's a little risky, some of these that we're doing. Edwards Bay. That's going to be just fine. Let's grab one more. Uh, we'll grab an extra piece there. We'll send that. Please do it. Yes, good stuff. And Olympus organization, let's negotiate. They've got mediums and larges. So, ooh, can we grab an extra on the medium and an extra on the large? We'll do that. I'm not sure it meant anything for us, but we'll do it anyway. Um, okay, air, um, they've got a lot of mediums, so let's uh, start upping the medium a little. Send that offer, see if we get it. Oh, beautiful, we got that one. Tie in a few of these things. Now, the rest doesn't have any additional negotiating room. So let's, uh, let's just see what we can negotiate at the time. Can we up one of these? Ooh, that I really don't want to. Let's just send their offer. We'll stick some of them as they are. 93% seems to be a pretty decent number. Ooh, this one doesn't want to want to really budge. So if we bring that back a little, we'll send that offer, see what we can get. I want to leave those eight points there and see maybe we'll negotiate something else. So on the mediums, that's going to be fine. I think that's going to be just great. What? That's a little awkward. Accepted on 93, that I really should be accepting. Trinity, uh, actually it was done. I know why that's not updating. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, ooh, not sure if we can Let's throw in one of these and send the offer. 73 definitely will not be accepted. That should be okay. And jumper, negotiate that one. Uh, probably okay as is. So let's uh, negotiate that one. 
should be moving out of the way. All of those are all sorted out. Now, let's see all the contracts. We can get another fuel contract, and my goodness, look, we've got like five um, sorted in right over there. So let's, there are, ooh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to drop this down even more, and we'll throw in some more of that. Trim that back. Really? Can we get this? If we send that offer, will we get it? Oh, declined. So what does that mean? Did we get our stuff back? We didn't even get our stuff back. Prickly, doesn't really matter what you uh, come in at. We'll start jump, uh, dropping this down a little. It's really not going to make any real difference. You can uh, go ahead and accept that. But that's going to be fine. So these are all the contracts. So. Um, uh, look, uh, it's, it's not great that we did, couldn't get this one sorted out, but anyway, that's okay. That is okay. A bit of a contract negotiations going on right over there. Guys, so I think that's where we're going to leave it. So we've expanded our security um, area over here. It's looking pretty good. Um, now we don't have any queues at security, so that should be just fine. We're moving a lot of flights through here. We are missing uh, more security officers, really. It feels like we've got a constant demand to just add more security all the time. And I, I, don't, I don't quite get why that is the case. But anyway, we'll do our best to, to keep that going. Um, in the next episode, I'm thinking we're going to start just um, checking out what we can do with the rest of our, um, our remote stands over here to expand our stands a little bit. I'm thinking two more large stands over here, so three extra large stands opening up, and maybe like four more medium stands over here, and then that should really be sufficient for the airport in general. All of this is kind of working, some cues, but it is working. So guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button, um, and if you have some comments, leave them down below. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.